Welcome to another episode of the Philosopher's Movie Picks. I'm Chris Bush. And I'm still Dean Slayer. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> right. Sometimes. Okay, well, uh, at least now. So hang in there, Dean. Okay. Be Dean for a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, so we're going to share, as is our want, uh, a few recommendations, films that we enjoy and recommend. And, and Dean, start us off. Okay, I'm going to talk about a new release for a change, um, and that is Bo Burnham Inside. The premise of this is, okay, I'm a young comedian, musician, aspiring filmmaker, uh, and now there's a quarantine, and now I'm, st I'm, I'm stuck inside of a of a house and in fact he makes it deliberately more confining he's in a room so so what's the logical way to respond to this i'll make a musical <laughs> and and he does uh and it's brilliant in a way this is a throwback to the old you know judy garland mickey rooney films yeah that's it judy we can we'll save old man <laughs> brown's farm we can do it right here We'll 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 print some tickets. We'll right. So that is the 2020 2021 version of that. Uh, in this case, Bo Burnham is was probably the best equipped person in the world to do that. Uh, he, uh, if you're not familiar with him, he was one of the first YouTube stars. As just a teenager, he was sitting in his room, uh, making up funny songs, uh, playing, playing the piano and singing these funny songs and doing jokes and so forth. And he went on to um, direct his first film called Eighth Grade, which is a beautiful, poignant look into the hell of life in middle school, which was released as a 90-minute YouTube film. Uh, so he's incredibly sophisticated about social media, about um, um, well, I'll put it this way. Um, I once heard one of the, the Beach Boys talking about the moment when the Beatles came on the scene. And he said, you know, and, and they came and they all were coming out of like London art school and they, you know, they were in their cool clothes and so forth. He said, and we looked at ourselves and suddenly we just looked like a bunch of golf caddies. Now, I, and I and watching this film, I felt, man, a whole lot of filmmakers and comedians and musicians are going to watch this and suddenly feel like feel old. <laughs> suddenly, mm. suddenly feel, oh, this here is the cutting edge of the sensibility of the world that we have made with social media with YouTube, with, um, uh, and, and the way that he uses it filmically. Um, for instance, when he, he does, a, he does a, a, a song called Talking to My Mom on Facebook, and the frame closes to Facebook proportions, Facebook dimensions, then he does this hilarious film, possibly my favorite thing in the, in the whole film, uh, this hilarious song, um, the premise is, is this heaven or just a white woman's Instagram? <laughs> and, and it's every white woman Instagram cliche that there is, just hilarious send up. And there the film, go, the frame goes to square, into Instagram proportions. But the things that he does with light, with effects, and none of it is digital effects, interestingly enough. He makes it all practical effects within this room, and he brings, shows you the cluttered room with all the equipment and all these kind of l levels of meta stuff where he's just, you know, lying there exhausted, drooling, and ang angry, kicking over the, the equipment and so forth. It's just a brilliant, brilliant roller coaster ride. So, Bo Burnham Inside, um, you can watch it on Netflix, and it's actually having a, a limited theatrical release. Um, I'm not sure if that's over, but check it out. I love that you're so excited about this film. I'm going to watch it this evening. 
And I recommend our philosophers audience watch it too if you haven't seen it, even though I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Your 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 faith in my taste is tough. I, well, in this case, I, I have faith in your enthusiasm. <laughs> so my pick for this episode is a 2014 comedy drama, Chef C H E F Chef, written and directed by John Favreau, of uh, Swingers. Okay. First mm -hmm. came on the scene, I think, mm -hmm. with Swingers with Vince Vaughn, and he's gone on to direct a lot of films. He directed, I think, one of the Iron Man films and he's in the Iron Man. He's gone to that direction. He, I think he's uh, directed one or two of the Disney live action uh, remakes. But so he's really like, you know, A-list director. But this was seven, eight years ago, you know, early in his career. And this is a lovely little film. I just think it's 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 a treasure. It, it I don't think it was that well known or that well uh, viewed, but it follows the story of a, of a of a fellow played by uh, John Favreau, uh, divorced father uh, with a very close relationship with his young son. And he's like a designer chef in LA who uh, gets fired by his boss, Dustin Hoffman in a scene stealing uh, moment mm -hmm. and goes to try to figure out what it is he wants to now do with his life. He knows it has to be food related, but he doesn't know quite what. And it ends up being a, um, uh, a Cuban sandwich uh, lunch truck that he, you know, he, he finances and develops and, and just the whole journey, the relationship with his son, his sidekick played by John Leguizamo is fantastic. Sylvia Vergara uh, plays a supporting role. Um, it's just delightful. I think it's beautifully written. And if you haven't seen it, really recommend you see Chef. I, I loved Chef. And by the way, there's a scene where, where his food truck, it becomes one of several food trucks in a parking lot. And that parking lot is on Abbott Kinney Boulevard, about a mile, a mile and a half from my house. In Venice. In Venice, <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. I'm sure there are a, a lot of uh, uh, filming locations near to where you live that, yeah, yeah, that we could see show up in films. It's true. It's true. And as a matter of fact, anyone who lives in, in this area here, Santa Monica, Venice, West Side, if you don't know about the wonderful Aero Theater, spelled A-E-R-O, mm. over on Montana. Uh, and they, along uh, with um, the Egyptian now th in, in, in Hollywood, constitute the American Cinematheque. And they have wonderful, incredible programming of new films, a lot of old films in pristine prints and incredible Q&As. I saw a screening there once of Paris, Texas with um, Harry with, Dean? Uh, with Harry Dean Stanton, uh, Vim Vendors, and uh, um, oh, how can I space out on her name? That beautiful woman. Is it Isabella Rossellini? Isabella is Rossellini. The three of them doing Q&A. Saw Carl Reiner do Q&A there, Mel Brooks, everyone. So, um, uh, and the reason I bring it up is that shortly after seeing Chef, I found myself sitting on an aisle seat at the era watching something and John Favreau was with his son were right across the aisle from me. And I understand that he, like a, a number of people in the film community here is, is a big supporter of the Aero Theater. Yeah, so there's a free plug to the Aero Theater. Yep, American <laughs> cinema. Eight sponsorships, welcome. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this episode of the Philosopher's Movie Picks. Make sure you go see a movie, one of ours, if you feel like it, and um, uh, we'll see you next time. And and let us know your reactions. If you agree, disagree, let yeah. us know in the comments. Yeah, please, please. Good. I'm glad you mentioned Okay, you. Thank and you. happy viewing. Thank you for joining us on the Philosopher's Movie Talk Show. Please subscribe to stay up to date on our newest episodes.